والله دكتور رانيا المشاط مينستر اوف بلاننج اند ايكونوميك ديفلوبمنت اند انترناشونال كوبريشن ريبريزنت ايجيبت ان ذا جي 20 ديفلوبمنت مينستيريال ميتينج از بارت اوف ذا جي 20 اكتيفيتيز تيكينج بليس ان ريو دي جينيرو برازيل ذيز ميتينجز سيرف از برو procedure uh, of uh, the G20 uh, leaders uh, uh, summit scheduled uh, uh, for November 2024. To shed more light on this, we have the pleasure to have with us over the phone our dear guest, uh, uh, Dr. Ayman Ghunaym, Professor of Economics. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. Well, uh, Dr. Ghunaym, how do you see the importance of Egypt's participation in the G20 summit? Well, actually, the Egyptian diplomacy under the leadership of President Abdel Fattah Sisi has been very active in achieving its goals uh, during the last uh, period, especially since he has taken over in 2014. Our goals or the goals of the Egyptian economic diplomacy are three main goals. Uh, the first one is to promote the Egyptian exports. Uh, to increase the Egyptian exports uh, to reach the targeted level of 100 billion US dollars per annum uh, as put by President El Sisi. Uh, the second goal is to increase and promote the foreign direct investment in Egypt, especially in the economic zone of uh, Suez Canal. <coughs> we uh, have uh, increased the efficiency and has uh, uh, revamped uh, its uh, Suez Canal uh, region. Uh, Egypt has improved the uh, infrastructure in that uh, or in this very important region and uh, it has increased the capability of the six main ports uh, the, in, in uh, East and West Port Taid, in uh, Sokhna, in uh, South Tor, in, uh, in, in uh, Arish, in Northern Sinai. Uh, also, Egypt has uh, a very important objective for its economic diplomacy, which is procuring finance at favorable or um, actually f uh, fair terms and conditions. Uh, Egypt has been calling for a, a, new, a, a new global financing pact uh, through, uh, through different economic forums worldwide, including, of course, the Paris summit in May 2023, uh, in which President Abdel Fattah Sisi participated, and he called uh, for the uh, for the uh, international financial organizations to improve and uh, to change or to modernize their risk management frameworks in order to accommodate the uh, evolving needs of the South, especially the evolving needs due to the climatic changes. Yes, uh, Dr. Ghunim, uh, uh, Dr. Ranian Mashat have uh, met with the representatives of the European Union uh, during uh, the summit uh, on the sidelines. Uh, so what are the opportunities for the cooperation between Egypt and the Union in the coming period? Well, actually, the European Union <coughs> is the uh, major trade partner with Egypt and is one of the important, uh, one of the main important uh, foreign investors in Egypt and we have witnessed uh, like uh, a while ago, the uh, Egyptian European Investment Conference, and there are a lot of opportunities, especially in the Swiss Canal uh, economic zone. Uh, we target a lot of uh, industries, uh, a wide array of industries, including textiles, ready-made garments, tires, logistics, uh, pharmaceuticals, data processing industries. We also target agricultural industries and food industries. Uh, that will benefit from the uh, crops of the uh, Northern Sinai development project on, on around 620,000 acres, including 220,000 acres uh, west of the uh, canal and uh, 400,000 acre, 400, acres uh, east of the canal. Uh, also, we target uh, the fuel industries, uh, ship industries, batteries, building materials, of course, automotive, and localizing <coughs> the components of the automotive industry and localizing the feeding industry of the automotive industry. Uh, the zone also targets uh, metallurgical industries, petrochemicals, cranes, uh, solar plates. So there are, there, are, there are a lot of industries. We have a wide array of industries that we target in this area. Uh, 
and and also we pay special attention for green hydrogen and for the uh, uh, clean energy especially that we uh, we, we target uh, or we have a very rigorous program of yes. achieving sustainable development and we did uh, integrate the sustainable development goals in the Egyptian development goals as well. Yes, uh, Dr. Ghanim, and in general, uh, on the sidelines of uh, the summit, uh, also Dr. Uh, Rania Moshot have met with her uh, uh, counterparts uh, from uh, the G20 and uh, several countries. The importance of these uh, sideline uh, uh, meetings, uh, and they are speaking one to uh, one. Well, you know that uh, under the leadership of President Abdel Fattah Sisi, Egypt has regained its leading position in, in the Arab world and in Africa. <clears throat> and uh, Egypt, Egypt is now considered to be the, the gateway for, uh, for Africa and for the Middle East, especially with uh, its uh, vigorous uh, infrastructure uh, in, uh, projects and its uh, uh, the developing economy. Egypt has uh, increased the capacity of its economy, has increased the capacity of its infrastructure, and uh, is now considered to be the gateway for Africa and for the Middle East. So, uh, especially also in the field of finance and in the field of attracting foreign investment, uh, not only in, in Suez Canal, Zone, but also we have uh, other regions, including the, the uh, northern coast, including uh, 17 industrial uh, complexes uh, all over the country that, that are now being completed, uh, including the uh, 17 uh, fourth generation uh, cities that are now being built. So Egypt has a lot of investment opportunities and has a lot of uh, yeah, competitive advantages uh, to offer to Europe and to the whole world. And Egypt has been trying to uh, maintain the stable and balanced relationships between uh, Eastern and Western countries. Yes. Uh, we have the Western countries, the United States, it's uh, allied in, uh, North, in North America, including Canada and Mexico, of course, and we have uh, Western Europe. And we also maintain very strong relations with the Eastern countries, mainly the BRICS, uh, China, Russia, and India, and India has always been uh, non-aligned and in the middle, but Egypt tries to maintain balanced relationships with everybody, uh, uh, promoting the uh, uh, mutual benefit and the mutual interest with different countries. Yes, uh, Dr. Ghanem, uh, how do uh, such meetings uh, uh, would pr uh, pave way for uh, attracting investments to Egypt, which is high, on, the investment uh, uh, file is uh, uh, high on, uh, um, on the agenda of the Egyptian state, uh, and it's one of the priorities of the Egyptian state? Well, uh, Egypt is trying now to increase its foreign direct investment, because we know that our saving rates are not as high uh, uh, at the required levels to support our target investment levels. <coughs> Egypt targets an investment level between 25 and 30 percent of its GDP in order to be able uh, to achieve um, average annual growth of its GDP by more than 5 percent per annum. Uh, we know that our uh, investment rate in uh, financial year uh, ending June 30th, uh, 2023, it was 13.5% yes. uh, vis-a-vis uh, uh, a saving rate of around 6.8%. Uh, of course, the saving rate is, is very low, and the, the, the gap between the saving rate and the investment rate <coughs> was abridged by the uh, foreign investments and foreign borrowing. Yes. I thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your valuable information. Dr. Ayman Ghanim, Professor of Economics, thank you very much for joining us over the phone. Ladies and gentlemen, short break and I'm going to be back with you.